nice to see you. My name is Kirsten and I work at the Edgerton Public Library and I'm glad you're logging in for our episode of Library Shorts. Uh, librarians at all the Arrowhead Library System libraries are putting together this series of short videos on a variety of subjects so I hope you'll uh, enjoy what I have to share today and tune into all the other great videos that we have coming this week. So this week our library shorts all focus on the theme of celebrations and I'm going to show you some fun experiments that have to do with air that you can try at home and I hope that these will be fun for you to share with other people while you're celebrating at home um, this winter. Okay? So first we have to think a little bit about air before we see our experiments. Okay? Air is actually made up of very small particles called molecules. So some people think that the air around is like nothing, but it's really lots and lots of small particles that are moving around at very high speeds. Okay? Most of the air around us is made of a gas called nitrogen, and uh, another main component is oxygen. So you're probably familiar with breathing in oxygen, okay? but that's not the main part of air. Okay. One thing that can demonstrate that air uh, is made up of something is by blowing up a balloon. Okay. So when you put air into the balloon, uh, it now takes up space. And if I were to weigh this balloon on a scale, um, it would weigh more now that there's something inside of it. So um, I add air to the balloon and it now has mass and volume. And one of the really interesting things about all those moving particles um, is when they're moving, they bump into things and that exerts a force. And due to forces, lots of very interesting things happen. So here's an experiment that you could try at home or a little demonstration. You can take a balloon and a couple of cups. And I'm gonna start to blow up the balloon. and get those cups to stay on the balloon. Okay. As I was blowing up this balloon, I was filling it up with air. There was already some air to start with in that balloon. Okay. And the space inside this cup actually was getting smaller, excuse me, getting bigger and bigger as I was filling up the, uh, filling up the balloon here. So the pressure inside of the cup decreases and the air pressure outside is pushing those cups onto the balloon. Let's see what happens when I let go of the balloon and let some air out. The cups fell off. Okay. So that's a fun one that you can try at home. Okay. Now a long time ago in the 1700s, a scientist named Daniel Bernoulli described one property of air. And he said that when air or other fluids are moving, the faster they move, the lower the pressure in that area. So if you blow really hard, it's gonna make an area with low pressure, okay? And as a result, some cool things happen. You can take an ordinary piece of paper like this, or if you've got some festive paper at home, okay, and cut a strip like this, okay? Either one, I kind of like using the snowflake one, okay? I'm gonna bend a little flap and blow on the top of the paper. What do you think is going to happen? The paper moves up. Isn't that amazing? As I blow, I'm moving air more quickly, so there's lower pressure on the top of the paper. Okay? As a result, the pressure from the air down below is pushing the paper up into that area of low pressure. The faster I blow, the lower the pressure above that piece of paper. Okay. So that's a fun trick that you can try at home, or fun, fun scientific observation. Okay. Another thing that you can do uh, to demonstrate the Bernoulli effect is by using a vacuum cleaner and some sort of light ball, maybe a um, ping pong ball or a beach ball. Okay. Now my shop vac has two openings for air. One is pulling air in and one is pushing air out. So I'm gonna use the side that the air is blowing out. And remember, the faster the air moving, it creates an area of low pressure. So it's gonna get noisy, but I'm gonna turn the 
vacuum on, and then I'm gonna put, let's get it to light up. I'm gonna put this ball right here, and we'll see what happens. The ball can stay in place by this low pressure, and the surrounding air out here is greater pressure, so it's pushing on this ball and keeping it um, staying in place. So that's a fun trick that you can try at home as well with a vacuum cleaner. Right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about some of the properties of air. And thanks for tuning into our library short and enjoy all the rest of the videos this week. Thanks. Bye-bye.